What do you see in the community? A community is a place where people live together. There are many places to visit and many people to see. Let's read the directions. Circle people, places, and objects that you might see in a community. Let's get started. First, we see a playground, a police officer, and an octopus. Which of these belong in a community? That's right, a playground and a police officer. An octopus belongs in the sea, not in the community. Great work. Now, let's look at the bear cave and the library. Which of these would you see in a community? A library. A library is a place where people read books in the community. Good choice. Look at the last set of pictures. A house, a volcano, and a school bus. Which of these would you see in a community? A house and a school bus. Nice job. People live in houses and children ride buses to school. Volcanoes can be dangerous and don't belong in a community. Congratulations! You've completed the worksheet. Awesome work. all around the town. Welcome. Do you know what a town is? A town is a place where people live. It is smaller than a city where you might see lots of people and buildings. A town may have small houses surrounded by grassy fields or farms. Let's get started on the worksheet. The directions say, check the box next to things that you might see around a town. First, we see a picture of tall buildings. Then, there is a picture of farmland. Which of these could you find in a small town? The correct answer is farmland. It is common to see farms in a town setting. Good job. Let's look at the next set of pictures. Here we have a cottage and apartment buildings. Do you think that people in small towns live in cottages? or apartment buildings. That's right, they live in cottages or other types of homes. Apartment buildings are usually found in busy areas where lots of people live. What's happening in the last two pictures? There is lots of traffic going on in the first picture. We see people in their cars traveling down a busy street. In the second picture, there is one car driving on a small road. Which of these pictures look like something you would see in a town? Yes, the second picture. A town usually has narrow roads, not large busy streets. Good answer. Congratulations, you completed the worksheet. Awesome work. What is a neighbor? Hello, let's get started on the worksheet. Neighbors live together in a community. They may live in the same area or very close nearby. Let's read the directions. Check the pictures that show neighbors living together in a community. Remember that a neighbor is someone who lives nearby in your community. Do you see any neighbors on this worksheet? Yes! Look at the first picture. There are two people waving at one another. It looks like they live in the same apartment building, so they are neighbors. Good job. Let's find more neighbors. Look at the scuba diver. There are many sea creatures around him, but this is not a community. People don't live underwater with fish. What about two people floating in outer space? Are they neighbors? No. People don't live in outer space, but people do live in homes. These people are neighbors who live in nearby homes. Now we have two pictures of people at the community park. 
In one picture, there is a boy riding his bike alone. In the other picture, there are three people walking dogs. Which of these pictures show neighbors? Sometimes neighbors meet at a common place in the community. They may shop at the same stores or, as you can see, play at the same park. The people in this picture are neighbors. Way to go! Congratulations! You've completed the worksheet. Awesome work! See you later! Hello! Let's get started on the worksheet. Community Homes. The directions say, check the pictures of places where people might live. A home is a place where people live. Let's look at the pictures. Do you see any homes? Remember that there are many types of homes. The first picture is a house in China. Is this a home? Yes, people in China might live here. Good work. Take a look at the next picture. It looks like a nice cozy living room with a fireplace. Do you think that someone lives here? You're right. A living room is a part of a home. What about this nest? Can someone live here? Look at the eggs and feathers. This might be a good home for a bird, but not a person. Next, we have a pond, a hut, and a train. Which of these is a home? The hut. A hut is a small house made of wood, mud, grass, or stones. People do not live in ponds or trains. Nice job. Let's look at the last few pictures. There is a teepee, a sports stadium, and a cottage. Which of these is not a home? A sports stadium is not a home, but people do live in teepees and cottages. Great choice. Congratulations, you've completed the worksheet. Awesome work. Goodbye. Hello, let's get started on the worksheet. Family vocabulary. Let's read the directions. Circle the word that matches the picture. Look at the picture in the first row. It's a woman holding a boy. If you look closely, you'll see that the arrow is pointing to the woman. Is she a father or a mother? Yes, a mother. Good answer. In the next row, we see another woman and a boy. This woman has gray hair. This means that she is older. Is she a grandma or a brother? She's a grandma. A brother is a boy, not a woman. Nice work. Next, we see two girls playing tennis. They look like twins. Do you think that they are sisters or brothers? They are sisters, of course. Remember that a sister is a girl. Now, let's look at the last picture. There is a man reading a book with a boy. Pay attention to the arrow. Is it pointing to a sister or a father? A father. Good job. Congratulations. You've completed the worksheet. Awesome work. Goodbye. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.